Hey, fellas, you ever play Tekken? Of course you have, probably. Tekken is the most popular 3D fighting game in the world, and its history goes back 30 years. And I've never played it. I mean, I've just never really been into it. The game has so many characters and literally thousands of moves. How are you supposed to get into a game this big? Well, turns out the answer for me was when someone famous asked me. In February, outrageously wealthy FGC tycoon Sejam reached out to me about an event he was putting together. Sejam's Tekken Slam. Six teams of five players, each featuring one Tekken pro as a coach, with matches being set up so the team members would only fight opponents who were around their own skill level. These ranged from highly skilled amateurs to complete beginners. I was one of those. He asked me how much I played in the past. I said I used to mash on the controller as Eddie Gordo in 2004 just like everybody else. And he said, perfect, you are going in the terrible slot. And I said, okay. Me and the other beginners like Saikuno, Connor Eats Pants, and Rob CD had exactly one week to learn how to play Tekken before we'd be fighting each other for our respective teams, with each one of us starting out brand new to the Tekken series. I put out a tweet right away. It basically just said, I need an easy character that is good and easy and does lots of damage with reads and can win easily. Is it Paul or King? One of the coaches for the event, a Tekken pro named Brawl Pro, was actually a King and Paul co-mate. He saw my tweet, sent it to Sejam, and said, I want that guy. Turns out, it was King. This character is stupid. If you've ever followed Tekken even remotely in the past 30 years, you know who King is. He might be the most recognizable character in Tekken history, and he's a hardcore grappler that makes his money on huge throws and scary punishes. See, I haven't been a pro in any game in a long time, but I've played a lot of fighting games, and I've developed a pretty strong system for getting pretty good at these games kind of quickly. You pick a good character, learn a couple of really powerful moves, and use your instinctive fighting game experience to condition or just straight up brute force people into those moves. It works, and King is really good at it. So now the path was clear. I had my character in King, I had a simple playstyle that I thought could take me pretty far. And, last but not least, I had my God-given talents and decades of gaming experience to see me through. So, I Whoa. hopped into ranked. And how did the first few sessions go? Oh my God! Ow, 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 ow. He's just mashing it. He's mashing it. Very poorly indeed. <laughs> I lost a lot. Tekken is weird. But after about an hour or two, something started to click. I started to understand the rhythm of the game and the ebb and flow of offense, defense. And then I started to rank up. It's, it's actually clicking Best. now. Oh, get really juicy in the slush. Yeah, drink the Kool-Aid. We're in the lean now. Holy shit! Gotcha. Oh my god, that was so many points. My very simple game plan was starting to work. I was plowing through people very quickly, despite not really knowing all that much about Tekken. And after just two days and maybe about six hours total of play, I hit a huge round. Steal my way into red. Harada wants me in red. Does Harada want me in red? Does Harada will it to be so? Harada wants me in red. He knows how good I am. Thank you, Parada. Oh! No. Thank you! I hit red ranks. <sighs> red ranks in Tekken are a big milestone. They're generally regarded as when you're considered good enough at Tekken. According to this distribution chart, if you make it to red, you're in the top 33% of all ranked players. It's kind of like Gold in League of Legends or Elite Smash and Smash Ultimate. It's kind of the bar most people aspire to when they play the game casually. And I had hit it in two days. 
But then I started wondering, could I keep pushing forward and maybe even get to the next big rank? Purple. Do it. Ah, it was way nice. Nice. No. But yes, actually, I did. We got it. Day four of Tekken. Day fucking four. Ah! After just two more days, I got the purple ranks. Now, this one actually is a big deal. The purple ranks and above make up approximately the top 10% of all ranked Tekken players. And I got it in four days total. There are people who have played Tekken for years and haven't reached this point. And to do it as a complete beginner, this is genuinely impressive no matter how you get it. As hype for the event started to build, people started to take notice of my achievement. A couple FGC content creators reviewed my games to give their audience a better insight on how to climb ranked quickly. Some of them were very kind. And the cool thing about Kony's gameplay, it was it was just so effective. He didn't come in with these ideas of what is honest, what is like, what is clean Tekken, what is this. He's gonna play what works and win with it until it doesn't. Some were more critical. Like me when I was like 13, I didn't know any better. And now run up, grab, you're gonna run up, grab, power crush. So this is what they taught him? Power crush and a power crush and a power crush. What am I doing? And all of their comments were very mean, but it quickly became clear that if I was still playing the beginners, some of whom who hadn't even turned on the game yet, I was gonna completely dominate. So Sagem had to make some adjustments. Me and my teammate and good man Buddy Bear Slime changed places. So I was gonna be fighting the orange ranks now while he would fight the green ranks, the beginners, the new guys. It's now finally the day for group stages where everyone plays each other to determine seating for the final bracket just a few days later. Sagem finally announces the prizing for the event. Everybody gets Chipotle because it's Sejam and he apparently runs that place, but also some really cool controllers all around from Junk Food, Tesseract, and Razor. But the big prize was something special. All 10 players of the top two teams would receive a paid trip to Evo. Flight, hotel, registration, the whole shebang. And that's all I really cared about at that point. So anyway, the tournament begins round robin style. Every team fights every other team with beginners fighting beginners, intermediates fighting intermediates, so on, until either team gets three wins. If the score ends up 2-2, the Tekken Pro coaches actually step in and fight for their team's honor to break the tie. My team was Big Bear Slime, me, former MVP of the San Francisco Shock Super TF, Binding of Isaac content creator and secret Tekken god, Lazy Matman, and, of course, my coach Brawl Pro. Between my team's skill and my unprecedented rise through the ranks, we were considered the odds-on favorites to take the whole thing. But we also had the biggest targets on our backs. Could we perform when all the eyes were on us? And would I personally be able to live up to the hype that I had built up by climbing so fast? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Oh my god, lock it down. Lock it down, baby! Oh. Beautiful. One, two there. What a fucking up forward three! He's popping off! Oh my god. He's looking for. It's a non breakable! Here's Jack Jesus. Send him to real heaven, Jack! Oh, good heaven! Lily just double perfect in Pony. Mix up. Break out, break and he gets over. No way. Alley oh, kick Lily with three! Yeah. Alley kick. Yeah. kick! Alley kick, he's gonna do it. He's gonna power strike back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It did work! Yeah. He's not. Oh, with the oh, stun! Oh, with okay. the stun! Okay. Good break. There we go, baby. Yes, sir. Let's get it, kid. Let's Good go. Okay. Adaptation. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought that king was going to blow your ass out. But you got it. Thing on that encounter hit. One, one, one. The belly. The bare belly. Oh, my God. This, oh, my God. Oh, AOP ain't shit to oh Cody. Oh, no. Good game. Oh, oh what? Oh. Alley kick his ass. Get his ass out of yeah. here, brother. Well, well, somebody needs to talk to me. Oh, shit. Right, get me out of here. <laughs> get me out of here, man. You started using it a lot, too. Oh, it's a big punish. Yes! Doosh! Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. That's wow. that why I care you. Good bad. shit! No. Not bad. That was a... Can I, can I really it much, was honestly. a complete That's sweep. Not only did our team beat all the other teams, I personally went 5-0 in matches, but it was not easy. I was actually only one round away from losing several sets, including one where I barely clutched out a 6-0 comeback on Lily Pichu. 
I also beat E-Rob by doing this. So, you know, I earned it, right? Yeah, anywhere that plays fucking king is a loser. What the hell was that? Our team had beaten all of the others, and that was first seed for the bracket on Sunday. We would get an easier ride to the finals of the tournament, but we would also have an even bigger target on our back this time. Since we played on Friday, teams would be able to scout our habits and come up with counterplay for them. And since we were expected to be in the finals at the end of the tournament, every single team was going to be gunning for us. We spent that Saturday training, practicing, mixing up game plans as much as possible for the upcoming challenge, doing anything we could to secure victory. Finally, the time comes. It's finals day. Let's go to EVO. We got a bye for round one since we were the top team, and we were going to play the winner of Team FDX and Team Kawhi Face Miles. Except it became very Just clear like very no quickly that Ball Team before. KFM was oh, no. not the same the team they were on Friday. Good they had done a Is lot of training over the weekend because they swept Team FDX no with relative ease, even beating them in matches that they had previously oh, lost on Friday. Oh, Our team watched, took notes, and prepared for the fight. First up, Slime versus Porcelain Maid. No. Porcelain Maid wins the first. Fuck. I missed my running input. Slime hits the spin of Rooney to win the second. Sir. And then last set, last round, last chance to win. This happens. Do I lose? I think I you die. You might be alive. You might be alive. You're alive. Let's yes! fucking go, baby! Let's fucking go! Oh god! Let's oh fucking my go! Oh, that's my fucking bear! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! What the fuck? Oh, oh that's my big yeah, baby, baby Pooh Bear! Oh. And boom, that's one for the home team. I was up next against Sidian. I started off losing two rounds pretty quick, but I quickly rallied and won the set thanks to some coaching over the weekend from Brawl Pro and some pretty fast adaptations. Yes! Nice job. Nice. Let's go. So we're now 2-0, only needed one more win to move on. And Super is up next against Shawnee. Oh. Dude, I can't with this character, man. Wow, Super sucks. All right, that's fine. It's okay. 2-1, still only need one more to win. And there's a little something I haven't told you yet, dear viewer. See, when I was getting all the attention for climbing quickly, our team was readying a secret weapon. Do you remember that Binding of Isaac content creator I told you about earlier? That was the Lazy Matt Man? We call him Jack Jesus. Oh. Yo, nice. that call out. Oh, that string also, the last hit is a high. I guess Matt doesn't know. Just letting him do it. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's Fuck the rotate. Get rotated. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jack, he's done it again. Oh, no. <laughs> Matt Man wins in terrifying fashion and earns us a spot in winner's finals. So anyway, we're in winner's finals. One win away from Grand Finals and securing that sweet free trip to EVO. All we have to do is just beat one more team. It's Team Joey Fury, and they step up to face us, and the battle begins. They got second seed on Friday, and they're considered an extremely strong team, with Joey Fury himself being one of the best Tekken players in North America. So it's not going to be easy. First up is Slime versus Rob CD. Unfortunately, Rob lives in Japan, and the match has to be played with uh, 300 MS. This is apparently due to a misunderstanding what? between Rob and Sejam. And while it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, it's a content creator tournament, it looks extremely frustrating to play in, especially for a big dumb bear. So kudos to Sly for taking it well. But he also took the L. I don't know what he could have done here, honestly. Then I'm up next against Emily Wang. It was a pretty painless 2-0 for me when we fought on Friday, but Emily also had the distinction of 2-0-ing every other player in our division, so I knew that she was going to be a tough challenge, especially after this weekend. Both of us uh, had gotten plenty of coaching yeah. specifically yeah, yeah, targeting yeah. the other, Bell expecting to be sure. fighting each other Ooh, at some point, too, right and now there. here we were, about to face off for the biggest prize. 
by the way. I she's recognized one. that he's trying to go for traps to hit her on the ground. So she's like, okay, cool. I'm just going to hang out over here. The Shining Wizard, one hit to kill. The alley kick. Emily them. wins game two. Beautiful, Emily. Don't be nervous. He's so scared of you. And game three, this happens. What? My controller died. Wait, what? Wait, stop, stop, stop. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This isn't the best. Not engaging. Oh. oh, wait, what's happening? Uh-oh. Is Yo, the controller it... disconnected? What happened to Kony? I have no idea. His controller died. No, he's getting body. I'm back. Play it out, baby. Play it out. Come on. Play it out. Let's go. <laughs> You've got... You I don't know what the fuck happened, man. I didn't do anything. Okay. No, what? Now, to be completely clear, the controller disconnect is not why I lost. Do you remember how I said I beat Emily pretty painlessly on Friday? See this move? Yeah, well, she stopped getting hit by it. It got me a ton of wins on Friday, including against Emily herself, but it's also really easy to counter. I was prepared to adapt, and I hadn't really gone for it as much throughout the day on Sunday, but losing all that free damage along with Emily's much-improved mix-up game and expert coaching was too much. But it's okay. You know, I still have a team. We're only 0-2. I could still rely on my team to do well and carry us through. Oh, fuck! I had Then super that. lost. Damn. Super sucks. Team Brawl Pro loses 0-3, and we drop down to the loser's bracket. We only have one more shot at winning the tournament, or more important for me personally, getting at least second place and securing that free trip to EVO. Now, we wait for our match. Team MYK defeats Team FeedyX and losers, and so we're set to face them. But the important thing to note is that it came down to the coaches' match in Game 5, and Coach MYK looks brutal on Steve. I haven't seen Brawl Pro play yet. He hasn't had to, but I'm worried for him because MYK looks like a beast. Whoa. Team MYK is terrifying, but there's a battle to be waged and a prize to be won. It's game time. Round one, Do your thing, Slime bud. versus Victoria Brightshield. I hate this fucking game. Slime loses. Zero one. Round two. Coney versus E Rock. Oh my. Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, he's insane. Let's go. Big counter hit, finishes the string, could add a combo, the low again. Wall combo, wall nice. combo! Ugh. Holy fuck, look at that corner. Let's go, cut! Get the fuck out of here! Yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, baby. I'm fucking better than you, dude. Jesus Christ. It's just <laughs> mid low, mid low. Cody wins. <laughs> Obviously. Now it's 1 1. Round three Super versus Kite Hasegawa. Next slide, please. Dude. Oh, oh my goat's cooking. And the wall. Chuck Slam, that's gonna be the game. TJ ties up the Dude, I'm form. so mad. I'm actually so yeah, mad. Oh, Holy shit. Super loses. Super sucks. We're now 1-2. One, one loss away from being out of the tournament entirely. Send Jack Jesus. Round four, Lazy Matt Man versus Rosemi Lovelock. Sick. Cannot believe that hit. Should be it. Cable cannon. Yes! Okay. I don't 
think it wins, but it does a lot. And now it's all tied up at 2 2. Jack Jesus truly does save. Okay, so right now I would just like to take like a couple seconds just to paint you the picture of the scenario that we're at. So we're right now in game five, for those of you who have been paying attention. This is the first game five that we've run into this entire event. And game five is where the two coaches come in and they play the tiebreaker to decide which team wins the set. Despite having played with Brawl Pro for a week now and watching all of his streams and being very impressed by what I saw, I don't actually know anything about Tekken. So I don't know how good he is or how he's going to perform, especially with 100,000 people watching him across all the different streams and the various, you know, influencer stuff. So this is not something he's used to. And on top of that, we just saw MYK completely demolish a guy just a second ago. And I'm wondering, is Brawl Pro going to be able to stop that offense? And I'm getting really scared uh, right about now. So I just, this is unprecedented. So let's continue. So now, with Grand Finals and a paid trip to EVO for the entire team on the line, Brawl Pro loads up against MYK to fight for their teams. He picks King. And I start to feel something. Brawl Pro isn't just a coach to me anymore. He's the reason I'm here, and he's the reason why I now love Tekken. He gave that to me. I think to myself, I need him to win. I need to meet this guy. This is advanced type. Sh I need oh, to I shake his hand. Oh, thank you, Dad. Oh my God, beat his ass! Father's. Whoa, the block on I the fucking suit. dude. If he wins this, I'm getting him a world's greatest dad mug. I swear <laughs> to God. That's no. the block. Yes, sir. Uh, do, do. He has that. Yeah. Good yeah. Bro, this is not like the same game I've been playing. I don't know. <laughs> it's not. Dude, yeah. the coaches are different. They go through a pattern. Oh, he's lost. Yeah! Throw his ass! A douche! Douche! Dude, these weird guys! Yeah! Let's go to the left, brother! What else? Kill him! Kill what him! Else, what else? What? <laughs> That's my oh. coach! Dude. Yeah, drop this. Who's, who's gonna break the floor first? That's what really matters. I know he's looking for nice. <laughs> the Kony strategy. I told him that. <laughs> oh, alley kick too? You gotta, you gotta mix it in. Nice break. Dude. Jesus Christ. How did they do it? No God. tech. Oh, thank God that doesn't break the floor. <gasps> oh my God, I'm fucking- Dude, this man is teching the grab. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. No way, no way, no, no way. No way. He's got this combo. He's not dropping this shit. He, oh, he, make sure whatever. That okay, Let's Ooh, fuck yeah. go, baby. <laughs> that is my fucking game. Game looks a little different when your opponent pecks every throw. Oh, he oh, even oh. mixed it up though. He went down the list. He broke Jai Swing. He broke Shadow Wizard. He broke Tijuana Twister. He broke Irish Rip. He broke everything. What? Whoa. I don't even know what that move was or how he countered it. These guys are on another. Yeah, that was what? Oh, he gets the wall. Yeah, yeah, gets the break. No way! What the fuck?! He's not heat too! First him, he first him. You... Oh, oh my god, god. he just fucking hit him! Guys, we're gonna go to you. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, oh shit, he got it? Oh, oh my go. god. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Oh, that was good. Oh, oh that's yeah. too fucking tense. Let's it's go, just... Let's go, let's go. He just sent it. He said, fuck it. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Mm. fucking absurd. Yup. Well, something extra too. Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. Tying okay. up the set. Damn. One of these. Damn, they're playing for the game. Let's go. <laughs> no tech on the shining with. Ah! Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, right, Mysterio. Oh. Uh. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem.
That's big. I, I can't believe that. Like, he doesn't even go bomb. He's just trying to get wall. <gasps> what? Oh. Oh. oh, does he know? He broke everything else. Oh. Wait. Oh, does he oh know? My oh, my God. Oh, my God. he know? Chad, is this real? Oh, my God. The alley kick. The alley kick. That's my goal. The Tony. I'm out of my Please. Please. Let's just, look. Let's just wrap it up. That for sure. <laughs> mix, 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 mix. Oh. Boom. One time. Oh. Yes, my God. Oh. Yes, my God. Oh my God. That's my fucking oh. God. Oh. 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 Biffy, you are fucking oh hit. That is my yeah. fucking coach, Let's my idol, my up. king. Brawl Pro had done it in front of over 100,000 people and with the weight of the entire team on his shoulders, Brawl Pro delivered when it mattered most. We were all going to Evo. I have tried for an hour to write something that captures my feelings about this specific moment, but I can't really find the words, so I just, I hope the moment speaks for itself. Just know that it meant a lot to see him win there. Fighting games are so cool. Huh. So anyway, we were locked in for second. A real nice controller and a free trip to Evo for everyone, but there was still one more matter to attend to. It's now time for Grand Finals. We were up against Team Joey Fury once again, the team that had previously beat us, and this time we would have to win two sets since they were in winners. It was now time for us to adjust, rally back, and win the whole tournament! <laughs> Just kidding! We lost again, 0-3, real bad. I didn't really care though. Honestly, I'm going to Evo in just a few months. I hope I can see some of you guys there. And I have my team, and Sejam, and, and most of all, my coach, my idol, Brawl Pro, to thank for it. What a special, truly amazing event this was. This was incredible. So now, after grinding for a full week and rekindling my competitive flame and gaining a new appreciation for a series I'd never played before, how do I feel about Tekken? I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, I love the process of improving and adapting your game plan and learning new stuff, but there comes a point with every game, especially fighting games, where you hit the wall and the burden of knowledge becomes so great that you have to really kind of confront yourself and stare yourself in the face and say, is this something I'm committed to? And I'm just not. And, and don't get me wrong, I still like the game casually. I'm still gonna play it casually and I'm gonna like it even better as a spectator at EVO since I'm going, right? I'm gonna be able to follow the game at an intermediate level, which is really cool. So ultimately, I just don't think I have the time or the drive to really dive into a game this deep. It's, it's too vast. But the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I wanted you to see it. If this video spoke to you at all, or if any of this looked cool or something you'd wanna try, I highly recommend you try out Tekken, seriously. There is something so special about the process of improving and learning and implementing things into your game that fighting games capture better than any other game that I've played. And I think Tekken might be better than any other fighting game that I've ever played. Tekken is a truly special game. And if any of this look cool to you, please give it a shot. It's very good. Anyways, I got second in the Say Jam Tekken Slam. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like it, please. I'll see you guys at Evo. Come up and say hi to me and tell me how much you like this video. Or just tell me in a comment below. See you next time. Goodbye.